I should know who she is, really. And yeah, I didn't give a rat's tush about Zack Slater, but if he can nail Dixie and rock JR's world, Zack is my new best friend. You were right. It's the green one. See? Gentlemen. Wow. I need you to find somebody for me. Aiden, how much is the new widescreen you were thinking about buying for the office? Ten grand. Retainer is ten grand. Expenses, per diem, hazard, pay extra. Done. Well, that was easy. You're trying in the surround sound. Done. Too. Well, you must really want to find this person. Does he have a name? She. Does she have a name? Di Kirby. I lied to you yesterday, Dell. I am in danger. Okay. I meant it when I said I want to be a real brother to you, Di. No, Dixie. You promise not to right. call me Di anymore. Sorry. Sorry. Look, you can trust me, Dixie. Okay? Just tell me who you're mixed up with, what you're mixed up in, and I'll help you if I can. You're not the only one who knows I'm not Dixie. You know the guys who came to see you, paid you a visit, in New York, the upstanding suit type guys? Well, there's a lot more where those came from, each one scarier than the next. Oh, well, now they found you. And they're sending you bouquets of the lizards. What comes next? I, I can handle the risk to myself, but now someone else is in danger. I, and I can help if I tell the truth. Del, I'm, I'm about to lose everything. Start to compile a list of our best people to put on Mr. Slater's case. Oh, I was gonna show up for the TV, but okay. Um, Guy Kirby. Guy Kirby. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, paper. Last known address. State Penitentiary. Oh, honey girl, huh? So, do you have any idea what this Guy Kirby looks like? Exactly a beagle, is she? So, uh, is there any specific reason that you're trying to find this Miss Kirby other than the fact she looks like that? I'm planning to make her an offer. She'd be wise not to refuse. Do you see why this is tearing me up? If I don't say what I know about Kevin and his friends, then I put the life of Julia Santos on the line. Maria Santos' sister. That's who you'd be protecting. The same guys that want to keep me quiet, they're after her. That's why Wildman was shot up. That's their style, these guys. Take no prisoners. Shoot now, ask questions later, or, or don't ask questions at all. And you're seriously considering naming these maniacs? One name. That's all it, it would take. I, I, don't, I don't want to do this, but I... What else? What else do I do? Just look the other way? Maybe watch a woman die? A woman could die anyway. You? <sighs> I mean, I, I sent a message to them saying that I wouldn't talk, that I would never reveal what I knew. And you don't think you should just keep your word? <sighs> I just want out of it. <sighs> All of this, man. I, I never had anything waiting for me, and now I do. Tell I've walked into a dream life. Jr. Little Adam, especially Dad. They love Dizzy. They love me. Me. I'm surrounded by their love. I'm, sw I'm swimming in it. That's why I have to hang on to this life with everything I've got—with my hands, my feet, my teeth. Right. Then grab away and don't let go. Who's to say your coming clean is going to help protect Julia? If you rat these guys out, the only thing guaranteed is that you get bumped from the watch her list to the get her list. I could not only lose my life as Dixie, I could lose my life altogether. I... There he 
there is one secret I think my mother should know about. And that's your feelings for me. Dixie would tell the truth. She wouldn't be as selfish as I am. Keep your mouth shut. It's not selfish. It's survival instinct. No, it doesn't feel right just sitting back and doing nothing. Well, do you think if you talk, it's going to help put Sturgis and whoever he's working with away? No, it won't get them one step closer to the pen. These guys are very well connected and even, even more powerful. Yeah. So, if they can't be stopped, how are you going to be doing Julie a lick of good? The tab said any information I know might help. Honestly, I don't, I don't know, Del. Well, do you care about that? I think I fell in love with him the moment I saw him. And the way he looked at me when, when he first saw me up by the waterfall, I actually melted. <laughs> oh, melted is good. Motionless is bad. If you talk, your heart could stop forever. Drag Tad into it, he becomes a target. There's nothing left to think about, Dixie. Get on with the life that you love so much. And don't look back. It's too dicey. I can't make a decision here, not with JR and little Adam and everyone that I could lose so close. I have to take a drive, get some air. I'll come with you, okay? I can think of 101 more reasons why you shouldn't say a word about what you know. I appreciate you wanting to help. I, I, I have to do this one on my own. This could be the biggest decision of my life, of Dixie's. I could take away every bit of good that I've done for this family and make it even worse. You know, I really... Why don't you tell your mother what you just told me? Crystal, I know this is strange. Something tells me it's about to be a stranger. If I weren't in the picture, do you think... Could you and Tad be happy together? <sighs> wow. Sure is funny how things have changed. No, it wasn't too long ago you and I were locked up together, playing cards, talking trash about our lives. Wait a minute, no, we were just talking about my life. You never spilled a bean about yours, Dixie. Even when Tad came to visit me. The love of your life, not a word. Can I have an answer? Well, that's a doozy of a question. Do I have a shot against Dixie Cooney Martin for Tad's heart? Only if you're not who you say you are. Yeah. He's the richest kind. So, what exactly is this offer you intend to make? Well, that's between Miss Kirby and me. Zach, come on. I'm going to be working for you. I think I deserve a hint. Julia Santos. Julia Santos. This would be the Julia Santos that just cut out on the witness protection program. Somehow I ended up with you as <laughs> a new bodyguard. That wasn't in the paper. No, oh, but I got friends in high places, so we're cops. Speaking of which, why did you get involved at all? Why don't you just let them do their job? I've heard so much about your famous sense of humor. And other than the way you've decorated your office, this is the first time you've made me smile. The feds and the cops are the ones who've allowed Noah to get killed. And I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen to Julia Santos. Well, you are a generous man. So, what does any of this have to do with this Di Kirby? Well, uh, it's about Di Kirby's lover, Kevin Sturgis. She had time for him. Now, apparently, he must have been the love of her life. Huh? Or some secret. Or both. He's in Thailand now, living large. Thailand? <laughs> oh, hey! Hey, you're talking. I would love to take a vacation on your dime. I'll see if that's necessary. I don't think Di is all the way in Thailand. There's other people looking for, but I don't know how long it's going to take before they know what I know. Oh, and what you know. Di Kirby is right here in Pine Valley. Di, Dixie, your ex-wife. <laughs> 